Good morning, friends. It's early Friday morning, and I have something special to show you. It's Baby Bird Friday. It's been a couple weeks since I've had a baby parrot to show you, and that's because they all grew up, and I just haven't had one. But I have a new baby today. One that hatched here, and I want to show you right now. Now I'm going to feed this baby, and I'm going to start like I always do by mixing up the formula. I hope I haven't forgotten how. Can't imagine that I have after 30 years of doing this. I use the Tropican Hagen formula, and I'm going to put links to everything down in the description. I just keep it sealed up in one of these cereal containers. And there's the dry powder, and I'm going to pour in the hot water. If you're new to feeding baby birds, I always say this, you follow the instructions explicitly. I've done this for, like I said, 30 years, I suppose. Uh, can't really do the math, I'm so old. But, I'm kind of intuitive at it. I just mix it up until it's kind of the consistency of applesauce. Jeremiah, do you want to get me that baby? He is such a good helper. He is amazing. Now I have all the usual characters with me. Lolita's in the background. Pedro the Conyers making noise. Moose is here. Squirt Blossom is here. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Give us a thumbs up, like the video, and leave us a comment down below. Be sure to check out the description. I've got lots of links down there waiting for you. But look at this. This is an Indian ringneck parrot right out of the nest box. Um, both of the parents are gray. So gray times gray begets gray. There's actually a 25% possibility that this baby may be blue because of the way those dominant genes work. But he's never been hand fed before. Yeah, Lolita saying, baby, it's okay. Did you hear that? It's okay. I'm using a puppy pad. I've always used a towel down on the little table. Now, he doesn't like his, his mouth being opened up yet, but he's loving this warm food. Like I said, this is his first time. He's going to have to learn that, that this equals food. And there we go. Look. Now his little crop's not full yet. I'm just dribbling this food into his mouth. And I always like to show that is a flexible tip. I'm not shoving a plastic tube down his throat. Moose, you're being exceptionally loud today. And Lolita singing opera. Oh, is it a pretty baby, Lolita? Well, they just think the baby's pretty. Lolita went to the veterinarian yesterday. She uh, had some diarrhea. And they did blood work and said there's no signs of a bacterial infection. Her weight is good. Her breathing is good. Her eyes, her nose is good. They looked for parasites. There was no parasites, no worms, no protozoa. So he thinks that maybe she just ate too much fruit, which is a big possibility. But um, we did take her to the veterinarian yesterday. And she had a ball looking at all the pretty cats, the puppies and cats that were there. Well, look at this baby. I just love this. Now, y'all know the Indian ringnecks are my favorite. And like I said, this guy's either going to be blue or gray. But what if he was green? If he's green, then something funny's going on down in the aviary. Because yeah. a gray times a gray can't can't have a little green baby. Why? That's just not the way the genetics work. Why can't he be Lolita Carl? Because he's not an Amazon parrot. Why can't he be like Chloe, though? Well, he's just not. 
Okay, everybody's gonna want to see Squirt Blossom. Let's put this baby back and get Squirt Blossom out, okay? Okay. So here is our little Squirt Head friend. Come on over here, over here, over here. No, over here, look. Turn around, look. She says there's just water in that cup. I don't want that. Look, here's your neck. Your, it's not neck either. Come here. Stick your head in there. Have a little bite of baby food. Squirt Blossom is a Laura Keats. Laura Keats are called brush tongue parrots because she has little papillae on the ends of her tongue. And that allows her to drink nectar and eat pollen. Now she's acting goofy right now, but what she's doing is she sees her reflection in the monitor on the camera. And she's displaying to the other birds, saying, look at me, I'm bigger than you. But lorikeets are the birds that the zoos keep in their exhibits that you can walk into the aviary and you buy a little cup with a tiny bit of nectar for a dollar and let the lorikeets land on you and eat from your cup. Usually they, they keep the uh, larger rainbow lorries. Number one, they're bigger. Number two, they're more colorful. And number three, probably the... The, the biggest reason why they use rainbow lorikeets is they're more common and less expensive to buy. Zoos don't typically breed their lorikeets. Typically they they buy from private apicultures like myself. Now I haven't raised any baby lorikeets to sell to a zoo. But friends that I have, they certainly do. Lolita! Lolita. Squirt Blossom is not a putty cat. What you doing, Squirt Head? Here, uh, back over here. Get back in front of the camera. There. I'm using the puppy pad now on the table to provide a foothold for the baby birds. Y'all know that I typically have, historically, I've always used a towel. Never had an issue using a towel before, but Skye, the little blue ring neck that I raised earlier this year, she ended up with a tiny fiber off of the towel wrapped around her legs, and it was cutting off circulation, and we had to rush her to the veterinarian. And he was able to remove that, and her leg is perfectly fine now. Well, Squirt, what do you say? Squirt doesn't say anything. Have you ever heard Squirt Blossom say anything? I've heard the horse squeak. Yeah, she squeaks like that. Yeah. She is, uh, she's Daniela's favorite pet bird right now. Here, get up here in the camera. See? No, you're not going to face the camera. There you go. There you go. Look at that. She's a sweetheart. She is, she's a lot of fun. So much fun. All right, well, y'all want to take a look at Lolita, I know. Yeah, this is Lolita. She's our yellow necked Amazon. She's the one that gave us the scare uh, Wednesday night during the tornadoes, which we didn't have tornado damage here where we live, thank God. Other places in the state and around us did be in prayer for those folks. Moose, say thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.